What is up you guys? It's Nat. Welcome to my video. Today we are building a lighthouse and for once I actually have a name for it which is like crazy because I feel like every time I um, have been doing builds lately I don't know what to call them because I like you know I noticed like I was calling my builds like oh family home family ranch affordable starter like just very very generic to the point names nothing super creative and I want to get more like creative with my names so uh, fun fact for this one I was actually trying to come up with a name for it and noticed that the lot that I built this on is called Pier Palace now when I first saw the name I thought it said Pier Place and I was like, oh, that would have been such a good name, like for like a, a lounge, like a hangout. That would have been such a good name. I don't want to just use the base name of the lot, though. Well, guess what, guys? It's not Pier Place. It's Pier Palace. So I got to name my lighthouse Pier Place. <laughs> and that may be a really dumb name, but I don't care. <laughs> um, Yeah. That's why I named my lighthouse. Speaking of lighthouses, insert picture of a lighthouse that I took here. I was in Maine earlier this week, which you may or may not know if you watch all my other speed builds or follow me on Twitter, which by the way, if you don't, you should, um, at it's nat underscore game. Follow me guys, not doing it just for uh, Twitter followers. Honestly, it's just to keep you guys in the loop. Uh, if I am traveling or if I'm having computer problems or if I want to announce an upload schedule, well, we have an upload schedule, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes Saturdays. Um, but if I want to announce like a video, like do a sneak peek or something, or announce a new review or whatever, um, you know, that's just where you can find that information. Because obviously I don't have an easy way of like updating a status here on YouTube. Like this isn't Facebook. This isn't Twitter. <laughs> oh God, what's wrong with me? This isn't MySpace. Could you even... Was there such a thing as a status on MySpace? Like, that was my age group, kind of. Um, but, like, I was the loser kid who did not... I had... Okay. I kind of had a grasp on technology, but I was also very sheltered. So, like, internet? What was that? I knew how to use computers. I knew how to play computer games. What even was the internet, though? I feel like I was the only kid growing up for a while who did not understand what the internet was and then, like, did not use it until I had to in school. Um, which, you know, I was born in 94. So, like, you know, it's not like today where you go to, I don't know, kindergarten and you're already on the internet. Like, you already have your tablet and your smartphone nowadays and all this crazy stuff. Um, you know, it took a little while to be introduced to the internet and then... Uh, one of my first experiences with the internet, you know, without any kind of parental guidance was at my neighbor's house and they were on some, um, it was, oh, what was it called? It was like a joke website, like a comedy website, but it was like adult humor. So they had like Smurfs twerking and, um, just videos of like people doing like really, really dumb stuff. Nothing like, nothing like sexual or anything. Well, I guess if you call a Smurf twerking sexual, then maybe, but basically just dumb adult humor and we were young kids so we thought it was funny that we were on there or at least they did i did not i was terrified that my mom was gonna like go into their basement and like see me hang out with them on this adult humor website and i thought i was gonna get into so much trouble so that was like my first interaction with the internet uh fun fact uh that's for you mom if you're watching oh wait no my mom doesn't watch my video so <laughs> she wouldn't know wait what am i going on about right now I am not, okay, I have done this voiceover, this is the third time, so if I mess this up, I apologize, but I am not going back. Like, I am not doing this again. Okay, I was ranting about the internet and my first time using it. Why, though? Oh my goodness, give me, like, two seconds. Oh my god, guys, that was so sad. I literally had to pause the playback and, like, just go into my recording and rewind to find out why I was complaining about the internet. Guys, I'm sorry. It's 10 o'clock at night here, and I've actually been fixing my sleep schedule, so I've actually been getting to bed before this. So it's past my bedtime. It's my third time doing this voiceover. My voice is getting, like, super cracky and dried out, so I do apologize. But anyways, I went on that whole tangent about the internet because I was telling you to go follow my Twitter handle so you can get updates and stuff like that. 
I am such a loser. I, I'm a 23 year old with Alzheimer's. I swear on my life. Like I just forget the dumbest things. I'll forget what I'm talking about mid conversation. Just like that. <sighs> Disappointed sigh. All right. Anyway. Well, yeah. So go follow me on Twitter, but oh my goodness. Yes. What we were talking about was um, you should follow me on Twitter so you can find out if I am traveling. So as some of you may know, because if you were following me, you would know. Um, or if you watched my last speed build, you would know. How many times am I going to friggin' say that? That I was in Maine from Tuesday to Wednesday. So just one night. Stayed in a cabin by a lake. It was very nice. And I got to go see my favorite lighthouse, Nubble Light. In case you haven't heard of Nubble Light, it is a lighthouse and it is called Nubble. That was awkward. <laughs> it's it's a lighthouse. I don't know, guys. I like lighthouses, okay? I like the ocean. Even though it gives me like great anxiety, I still really enjoy it. And I guess because of that, I like lighthouses. So I had inspiration to build a lighthouse and refurbish it as a lounge hangout area. So how fun is that? Um, it is a three-tiered lounge. Although, okay, I must admit, this is not a residential lot. It is a public lot, but it is not specifically a lounge because I didn't want to have to deal with all the requirements in The Sims 4. So it's just a generic hangout place. You can change it to a lounge if you want to. I just didn't feel like it. I don't even know what a lounge requires. So I may have all the requirements here. I just didn't feel like dealing with it. So... It is a three-tiered lounge, hangout, whatever you want to call it. I imagine someone just kind of bought out this old lighthouse and decided to give it a renovation, make some money off of it, dress it up with some nice artwork, um, and just make it this cool place to chill. So on the bottom, we have the entryway where we have a coat closet, coat rack. We have an awkwardly shaped bathroom, but hey... It's an octagonal building, guys. Come on. Uh, second floor, we have a little sitting area with a bookcase. And then top floor, I can't believe I fit all this in here, but we have a little seating area. We have a bar. And we have two musical instruments. We have a keyboard and we have a guitar. Whew. So, yeah, I guess the top floor is like a music area. Second is seating, bottom is seating, bathroom. And then we actually have an outdoor patio region as well, which I really, really enjoy in this build. I use the new lights from the toddler stuff pack to light it all up. It looks gorgeous in the end, looks great at night. Honestly, going to use this place uh, in my own Let's Plays to just go and chill with my Sims. I just liked it so much. And I don't want that to sound like I'm stroking my ego, but like, you know, I just... This is a build I'm actually proud of. Uh, something that I came up with, I feel like nobody has either done before or just not many people do on a regular basis. Like, you know, all of us simmers like can build houses over and over again. They won't all necessarily be the exact same, but like, you know, you get the typical house, but then you see stuff like, oh, a lighthouse or like, you know, just, I don't know, different, different kinds of stuff. And it just, it's kind of like, oh, okay. I feel like I'm just making myself sound terrible right now because I feel like I just sound like I am stroking my ego. Like, guys, I am so original. Like, no, guys, I'm not. I'm not trying to sound pretentious right now. I'm just trying to say I don't want to be one of those YouTubers who does, like, everything that everybody else is doing. Like, okay, maybe if it's, like, a challenge or just a trendy thing going on, if I think it's fun, yeah, I'll do it. But, you know, I just don't, I don't want to be boring. I want to bring you guys new content. I want to bring you guys stuff that you have never seen before. Or stuff that maybe you've only ever seen once, randomly. I don't know. I mean, I've never seen anybody do a lighthouse before, but I could be completely mistaken. There could be tons of them out there and I just haven't seen them. But regardless, for me, I came up with this while I was in Maine and it got me really excited and I had fun building it. So there you go. I spent two voiceovers of this hating it and deleting them to redo them because I was talking about nonsense and then what do I accomplish in this video? I don't talk about anything super duper specific. I go on a tangent about the internet and then forget what I am saying mid-conversation, what my point was. And then I just, I, I talk about not even really the build. 
I talk about the project and come off as pretentious. Good job, Nat. Well done. Ugh. So don't go super duper crazy on the landscaping in this build, because like I said, old lighthouse probably doesn't have a whole lot of landscaping around it. I mean, okay, there might be some lighthouses in the world that do, but this one doesn't, okay? It's in Windenburg, it's on an island, it's on the coast. It's an old lighthouse. But just putting in some final touches with the lighting and we are about to hit the screenshot. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that beautiful lighthouse. Uh, great, great place to go hang out with your sims. Nice little seating area outside, even with a dance floor, a DJ booth, a bar, um, a grill. You know, your sims have everything here. We have this like beautiful interior uh, walk-in area. Got a little bathroom with like the old style kind of like lighthouse feeling uh, door. The bathroom, very classy looking. Up top, or actually up mid, we have seating area with a little library. And then up top, music room, seating, bar. So anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me over on Twitter. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.